Welcome to the California DX Association, AJ2J. I'm Daniel Jones, K6YIC. Uh, the other member is Brian Wallenberg, N3FAA. You'll see him in the video that's upcoming. Today we're going to be building a Cushcraft X7 uh, Yagi antenna. Uh, it's to replace a spider beam that we built last year. Uh, we're putting this antenna on a 55-foot uh, mobile crank-up tower that we'll be using for field days and uh, just general use up at his house. Uh, we chose this antenna because it has a high wind uh, resistance, uh, wind loading ability, um, the spider beam with a little bit of ice uh, and 70 mile an hour winds uh, did not fare well. Uh, was about a year up before it came down and I'll attach a picture to the final product of that antenna. Uh, so just know if you're gonna buy a spider beam and you have extremely high winds um, that uh, you're either going to want to take it down or uh, be prepared for uh, a mess when it comes down. So that being said, this video is in time lapse. I will uh, narrate a little bit through it. Uh, it was a 12 hour build. We didn't have uh, much of an issue. We did have some missing parts, uh, hose clamps that they refer to as Kusha craft clamps or Kusha clamps. Uh, they included too many large ones, not enough small ones. So we had some elements that we uh, basically temporarily put some electrical tape to to make them a little bit bigger to use the larger clamps and we will order replacements from MFJ. That being said, I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you do want to see more videos like this, uh, you know, leave us a comment, uh, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, let us know what we did wrong, what you'd like to see, and subscribe if uh, you uh, want to um, see more of these. All right, so what we're seeing here is on the 55-foot uh, uh, crank-up mobile mast. It did come with a uh, high-gain rotator. It was a fairly old rotator. Uh, so what we did is we swapped it out because uh, we had a uh, uh, Yesu rotator that we were going to put in in its place. Uh, so that being said, that's what we did here. Now, here we are building the actual... Uh, boom for the for the antenna uh, boom was easy to build came in about five different sections uh, very stout once you put everything together it uh, it goes fairly quick uh, don't be intimidated by the amount of boxes and parts it comes with uh, while the instructions were kind of weak uh, it all kind of fits together as you would think so that being said there's the boom now here we're assembling the elements. We assembled most of the elements on the last video. You just didn't see them. Um, it goes together with hose clamps, uh, and it's really uh, easy to do once you get uh, once you get going. So that's what you see here, and that's what we're doing. And uh, as you can see, daylight's fading pretty quick. So we actually end the video uh, here uh, because the video wasn't going to come out very good after this. And then here's the final product on the antenna with it down. And then once we put it up, uh, thank you for watching. And, uh, you know, uh, if you like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. All right, like I said, here's some pictures of the spider beam that didn't fare so well with the wind. Um, just showing overall pictures of it coming down. Uh, there's a picture right here that shows that the actual mount started cutting into the aluminum pole. So, that being said, uh, buyer beware if you have a high wind area.